Hi Angels, my name is Janet Ipinge aka Momfluenza. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, <laughs> someone is so excited. She really wanted to do the intro with me. Um, guys, welcome to another episode of uh, Vlogtober. Today we are going to shoot episode three. Yeah, episode three of Vlogtober. Um, we are going to do some traditional toys. No, what is that? Not it's traditional toys. Mm -hmm. It's called DIY, DIY toddler toys. Toys for toddlers. We're going to do DIY. We're going to take you through. This video is all about. Okay, there. Sorry, this video is all about um, sensory play. Um, uh, um, what is the other one? <sighs> Teaching the kids how to solve their own problems and. I'll take you through man I'll take you through so I hope you enjoy this video if you do enjoy it please do give it a thumbs up it helps me so much um, for me to reach other Subscribe. not subscribers other people so they can view my 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 video please do do the most and subscribe to my channel if you like this type of content um, I actually didn't really do an intro here. I'm actually a mother of three for the new subbies. I'm a mother of three. Here's one daughter. The other two are sleeping. A mother to three babies, two girls, one boy. My, 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 my. Yo, guys, there's been so long. <laughs> my YouTube is all about mom vlogs, uh, homemaking, lifestyle, and food. And today we are shooting a video of DIY toddler toys or toddler sensory plays let's do it together guys okay. hi angels i figured i had to do a voiceover because it was very windy and the sound quality was just not doing justice oh this fly it's fly season and it's all over the place guys uh so first of all we are going to start with a feeding toy board what you need is a board like that one that I have you can use a shoe bar shoe box I mean sorry it's a box actually a shoe box cover you can actually use that uh, you're gonna need a pencil and you're gonna need a permanent marker you're gonna need um, a glue gun you're going to need um, a knife and as well as colors okay so what I'm gonna do here is I am going to draw my animal on the um, on the board or whatever character you want to draw on your board so what i'm going to draw is i'm gonna draw a mini mouse on it uh seeing that my toddler loves mini mouse so that's what we're gonna do <music> What you do Yeah. 
before the sun goes down I wanna kiss you before the sun goes down So if you don't have a glue gun you can actually use um that wood glue i think it was i think it will stick enough if i'm not mistaken i think it will uh also i just wanted to let you guys know what actually your child will walk away with when when playing with this uh board um this helps your child to learn how to achieve their goals in life the child's aim is to feed the toy until the food is finished right so this also encourages your child to also just eat if you have those kids that just struggles to finish with their food this can also really help or you can actually say is hey buddy look here let's finish up our food so we can go over and uh, feed mini you can actually name your board or your character like mini or you name them fluffy you know these cute names that the kids love so the main aim is actually to have fun you understand this also encourages them to eat and finish their food but it must not be boring or it must not be a thing of you just want to get it done and over with you must also interact with them uh, like my daughter likes uh, before i started doing this feeding board thing my daughter always liked what was that she likes um she likes she she still likes it actually she wants me to feed her and i must do the aeroplane feeding thing then we have to sit there and i have to take one spoon and i'm like aeroplane aeroplane open mouth it really encourages her to to eat and i think it's also just a uh, another way of us bonding so i really really hope you try this um um this uh, um activity with your little one Hey you're good at making me lose my mind but I always come 
come around, don't I? And I know sometimes I'm bringing you down But I always make you smile, don't I? On a big blue storm you see But still you're the one Who brings out the best of me Do you all see how our mini mouse look like? She looks so pretty. Uh, my daughter had to paint that because yeah, I was very exhausted. I was getting exhausted, but I had to finish what I started. But yeah, that is actually the aim to feed mini up until the food is finished. For some whole reason, Jaden was actually having more fun with his board. So next up, this one is called a colorful puzzle. You will need the egg, uh, eggs carton, uh, the 30s. Um, and then you will need scissors, a knife, oil paint or spray paint. It's your choice. So in this case, we used oil paint because it's the only thing we had. Okay, so you're gonna what you want to do is you're going to cut out um, different shapes and color them into different colors for attraction. Hey, you're good at making me lose my mind, but I always come around. Make you smile, don't I? Mm -hmm. We're like the waves on a big blue storm you see But still you're the one who brings out the best of me
messed up, baby Kind of up and down And we keep falling till we hit the ground And then we, we always get back up again We're a little messed up, baby Kind of up and down So what does your child learn from this? Um, your toddler is actually learning how to be patient and also physical skills, emotional skills and communication skills. What I mean by communication skills is when, when they are playing together and trying to solve the puzzle together, putting their heads together and say, listen here, I think this one fits here. And then the other one disagrees and no, 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 I think this one fits here. The aim is to try and work together as a team. So they're also learning different colors. Uh, you do want to actually paint them in different colors. So when they are busy putting the puzzle together, they'll be like, um, can I please have the pink one? Can I please have the blue one? And then that's how or, or you do it with them first. And then you tell them, listen here, let's rather put the yellow one here and then the brown one here. Or let's rather grab the square one here. Or let's rather uh, grab them. Okay, they are now into uh, shapes that I can't even um, say. But yeah, or the L shape or, you know, things like that. Um, I think it, it really just develops a child's, um, a child's a brain and communication skills, learning how to work with each other. The other thing is hand-eye coordination. Uh, learning where you need to to actually fit the shape okay um, most importantly is solving a problem solving a problem like they know they are dealing with a problem so now they have to try and complete the puzzle so what do we do communication communication skills comes in okay um, it also helps the child to build self confidence and and creative thinking and concentration also helps them to play together guys i am noticing a lot of things right now i really hope you try this no let her play let her do it let her do what she wants to do this is actually what i mean by They remove it and up until they have, they get it right. <coughs> the aim is to work together also and also just to have the time of bonding with our children. Children need to bond, especially when you have two toddlers in the house like I do. My kids fight all the time. I try by all means just to give them something to, um, uh, to concentrate on and just learn how to play with each other.
okay so this last one is called hand eye coordinating shapes the toddler have to see where a certain shape can go or fit with an exact same one with this activity you will need a board a carton yeah you cut out of a box toilet paper roll a glue gun and a permanent marker to draw your shapes you can actually color your shapes if you want to and you also need four sticks popsicle sticks or whatever i'm using an odd stick there <laughs> because uh, we actually use those from like um the ice lollies and i'm actually just recycling them we didn't have a fourth one so we just went to look for a normal stick which is totally fine because it's gonna work so let's start off with um pasting our toilet rolls on the box and finish off the whole uh, project the next thing you want to do is actually just draw your shapes you can draw whatever shapes you want guys please don't laugh at my star yo the struggle is real <laughs> so yeah you can actually color them if you want to if you don't want to you don't need to um we actually colored only the ones that you actually try and and, and coordinate uh not the ones on the box This allows your child to have functioning skills like grasping objects, developing his or her brain, and also just learning shapes and learning the colors. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you learned something today, please comment down below. If you would want more of these type of videos, comment down below and don't forget to share my content. Um, please do subscribe to the channel i really appreciate you all thank you so much for being here thank you so much for watching up until this point if you watch up until this point please leave uh, a red triangle thank you so much for being here i will see you again in the next one i love you all